I'm Viv, if you don't know who I am. By the way, I'm pretty sure a high percentage that you don't know who I am. But looking at the demographics of my videos, um, it's just me, my friends, and my mother. Today, I decided to do a Yes Style haul. You know, Black Friday happened and they had like a big sale on their website. And so I decided I'll just do like a whole closet revamp again. I'm gonna just do a whole closet full of 90s clothing for the rest of my life because I figured out finally that is my aesthetic and I'm gonna stick to it. Vintage is back in. Basically, that's just going along with the TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest trend. So let's get started. So the sweater vest thing is back on trend. I'm really into the brown and beige colors these days with like winter and fall. The diamonds and the crisscross, it's like giving me kind of Burberry kind of vibes. I feel like that one girl on campus that got her stuff together, I feel like this girl is Jennifer. I'm, I'm gonna call this vest Jennifer. I'm gonna start naming my items. <laughs> I left the windows open and I do not want my old neighbors to see how I look in a bra. So, um, what vibe is she? I'm gonna call this one Lauren. Yes. I'm gonna call this one Lauren because, um, she has like a cute little pooch. And yes, um, so I expected this sweater to come out like oversized. I'm not mad about the sizing for this either. Like I have to wear a tank top underneath here. Just is a really good hugger and I want to be a good hugger in this. So there you go. So um, today I have Sammy. Sammy is like homies with the guys. She does not care about categories or she does not care about the stereotypes. Sammy is her own person and she loves to, you know, just socialize. Like Sammy is the woke girl, if you know what I mean. I love the green and blue combo here. As well, it's a crop top, a vest top. It's a test. It's a it's a bop. All right. The farther we go into this haul, the more spicier the items get because I decide, you know what? I want a nice uh, corset or like off like this, where it's kind of girly but also a little bit on the edgy side. Um, I look in the reviews. A lot of people were a little bit disappointed with how I'm usually a size small but I got this in a size large. I had to get a tape measure and uh, measure the bust and the waist and the length of it just in case I wanted to go a size bigger, a size smaller than I wanted to be. I'm, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this top Lily cause um, I don't know, she's giving me Lily Reinhardt vibes. Part of the itty bitty titty community or itty bitty titty club or the itty bitty itty bitty titty community um this top is not bad i'm i'm, I'm getting I'm, i have a little bit a tiny bit of a cleavage as you can see I'm, I'm just trying to push it out as much as i can like if i could go back to the bars or the club or something and i just need a day to night wear this is it all right this must be the most scandalous top i have ever bought i would call her diane you know Lady Diane. Lady Diane is rebellious and she can do whatever she wants and she doesn't need your approval. And Diane is going out for you. She's looking for revenge because <laughs> it's kind of like a corset but it's more like it's less of a corset but more of a bustier because a corset usually has like an opening in the back and you can tie it together like you know back in the days when we were trying to not breathe but this is more like a bustier to me because like it's stretchy in the back and i had to like pull it over but um yes this is like the most spicy most body kind of top and this is actually um a strapless but i wanted to see how it looks again with like a push-up bra because when i was wearing it earlier it looked like i didn't have anything <laughs> and the way it cinches in to the sides and 
kind of made a V shape in the front. It looks like you have a waist. I, I would assume that it would give you more of an hourglass figure, but so far, like I must say, I worked on my hourglass figure for the longest time and uh, it did me justice. I didn't want to impress the boys on this one. I just want to impress the girlies, like me, myself and I. I've got this leather jacket. It's a faux leather jacket or a top or I don't know, a shacket. That's what I heard from <laughs> Remy Ashton. It reminds me of um, the singer. I really, truly idolize in a way and really respect. So this is an homage to her and this is a shout out to the community, especially the minority community, people of color. We're looking out for each other. I believe that we should always pay homage to the people that have started these trends. And um, I really love this purchase. It's, this is like one of my favorite purchases in this haul so far. I just wanted to have like that classic sheer leggings that is a little bit, you know, a little uh, on the smirchy side. And then I got these matte painted clips. Um, these are for the long hair that I have that I cannot keep up, literally keep up with. I got this green one and an orange one. Um, it does hold on pretty strong, but um, it could hold a it could hold on stronger. I do have thick and long hair, but it does do the work and I wear around the house as well as wearing out. As for accessories, I got these two purses. These are the shoulder bags. And this was in the trend in the 90s as well. Um, I got this blue one. It's like a pastel kind of blue. It's like baby blue. I don't know how to explain it. But it has like this toy looking chain that you would steal from a baby and then just stick onto the sash. And then I got this faux alligator skin looking at burgundy shoulder bag as well. Um, it has the gold buttons on the side and it has it's also a zipper. Alright guys, I hope you like what you saw and everything will be in the description below and um, please stay safe. Uh, I hope I can wear these clothes again when quarantine ends and comment, like, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at subtle underscore Asian underscore chick. Alright, thanks. Stay safe.